It's one of my favorite events of all the year. The 10th annual Indie Craft Parade is expanding at Furman University with a kickoff party that you don't want to miss. We have Erin Godby, the director of Indie Craft Parade here. Good to see you. Thank you for having me, Jamarcus. Of course. We love this time of year. We're talking about yeah. our favorite things about fall. I love it oh, because yes. Indie Craft. So. That's the official kickoff for fall, I yeah. think, is when Indie Craft Parade happens, then you know. It is. Fall. We have lots of new things to talk to you guys about. Yeah. But for someone who's never heard of Indie Craft, it yeah. really is a celebration of the maker. It is. Festival of Handmade Art. So we gather the best um, makers and artisans from all over the South and bring them in one place so that the community can come out and appreciate and enjoy and shop and just find amazing, beautiful pieces of functional art for their home. And you get to meet the maker when you're there They're because right there. that person that made that t-shirt, that made that purse, that, you know, handmade that soap, you're yeah. going to get to talk to them. You're going to exactly. get a greater appreciation for where you're spending your money. Yeah. And so what are the dates for this year? September 13th through the 15th. And the big news is we've got a new location this year at Furman University. We've needed more space since mm -hmm. the end. This is our 10th year. Mm -hmm. And for those who have been coming for 10 years know that we every we always have outgrown our spaces and there's been lines around the block. We're hoping to avoid that this year. Furman University, Timmins Arena, should have plenty of space for all of our attendees and ample parking. And so. that's so nice of you guys to have it at my alma mater. You're just so we nice about that. Be, you know, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets bigger, and that shows that the community, they come from all over. I mean, yeah. Asheville, Atlanta, a lot of people. People are driving in just to come and attend the show, which is fantastic. Right. We love showing off Greenville. So we're going to drop some knowledge. Uh, that yep. first dibs party. Everyone wants yes. to be the first one that gets in. There's some freebies yeah. for that as well. There are, yeah. So first dibs, it's our kickoff party for the whole festival. Um, that's Friday night, September 13th. And there's so many unique, one-of-a-kind items adding to the parade that that's why you want to come the first night mm -hmm. and get first dibs on all the unique things. But if you come that night, we've got um, amazing uh, giveaways donated by our makers. Mm -hmm. We've got complimentary beer and um, hard cider provided by 13 Stripes Brewery. They're doing a special collaboration brew with us. It's going to be fantastic. Awesome. Jenny's Ice Cream, I brought a little sample for oh, us. Oh, yeah, you, you, yep, you don't have hands. to tell yeah. me twice about ice cream. I'm <laughs> Jenny's all Ice Cream is, uh, is going to be there on site um, all weekend. But Friday night, they'll be going to be giving away ice cream to all of our first dibs attendees. I'm going to give you the peanut. I don't know if yeah. you want the oh, peanut butter. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> so people will be able to get some freebies. Some freebies. Some freebies. And there's um, we got uh, vinyl tunes spun by DJ King Harold. It's going to be super fun. And it's 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 the, a great way to just see the festival without all the crowds having to wait in line, that sort of oh thing. Oh my gosh, free ice cream, free beer. I mean, what else do you want? You can't right? go wrong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> so how much are tickets to the tickets are twenty five dollars the and they're tips. sold in advance. We have always sold out in the past. Mm -hmm. So if you think you want to come, do not wait to the last second to buy a ticket. Mm. So, it's good. so good. It's so good. You can't. I mean, you definitely want this ice cream. Yeah, if you, you never do. had Jenny's ice cream, you haven't. Oh. You're not living your best life. You're not living your best life. You're just not. I would come just to, just for the ice cream. Honestly, the makers <laughs> right? are a plus. <laughs> right? Can you go online and buy those you can. those tickets? IndieCraftParade.com. There's a link to buy tickets. Um, it's real quick and easy, and then you'll show up, and then um, you'll get a wristband. And if you want to come back the rest of the weekend, you all do show that wristband. So I know you guys are always weekend. expanding the list of makers that are mm -hmm. that are coming. Any uh, any new ones that you're oh, we've really so excited? Oh, so many new ones this year. So this is actually our largest show ever. We have 116 makers this year, which wow. is the, the biggest we've ever had. Um, and I think about 40% of them are new. So there's, I'm trying to think, there's so many amazing new ones and it's returning favorites as well. There's some, some new ceramics I'm super excited about. Um, some folks doing hand dyed kimonos. Um, so if you want it, you if guys you want it, got you got to go and get it. So get in on that first dibs. Like she says, it always sells out. IndieCraftParade.com yep. happening at Furman University's Timmins Arena. Thank you so much, Erin, for Thank coming in and bringing ice cream. What a great Friday treat. We appreciate it. Perfect way to start the day. Right? <laughs> Another way to start our day is the sounds of a marching band. We're celebrating the Chapman High School marching band. The Panthers are going to perform when we come back. Stay with us here on Your Carolina.